Nvidia Ampere has landed and it will make 4K gaming mainstream and apparently according to this massive leak upcoming RTX 3080 Ti is up to 70% faster than Nvidia's current flagship the 2080 Ti and so in other words it is a beast guys and what this means is that with Ampere we won't see games choosing between ray traced shadows, reflections and global illumination. Upcoming Ampere can do all of this at the same time with much less performance loss Stay tuned. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to Orbin Hardware. My name is Robin. I'm your Swedish host with bad posture and poor accent. Let's dive right in. So, this massive leak comes from no other than More Slow is Dead. And I mentioned this channel in my previous Ampere based video. Again, great YouTuber. And you can find the links to his channel down in the video description. And in case you want to watch his video in full length, you can find that video down below. Anyway, guys, here is how this is gonna go down. We're gonna start by looking at the board design and some of the usage bits of the engineering card, then we're gonna move on and talk about the possible ports Nvidia's upcoming RTX cards might get, then we're gonna dive into the specifications, and then we're gonna talk performance, and lastly we're gonna talk release date and also price, and in case you don't have time to watch the video in full length, you can find timestamp to each section down below, with that said, whew, alright, so let's dive into this guys. Alright, so according to Morse Law is Dead, one of his sources who's working at or close at Nvidia apparently have obtained an engineering card and these are cards the engineers are working on to test certain things basically and in other words just to be clear these are cards that won't be sold off the shelves and so final specifications could change a bit but this is the most legitimate leak we have obtained so far anyway guys as we know a current Nvidia reference cards have two fans the reference engineering card guess what it's got the new cooler but not just two but three Three fans this time and this could mean Nvidia might be going with this design for their final cards as well. Who knows? And the new cooler is also said to be simplified with less screws this time around, making maintenance of these cards a much less of a pain. And this is good news because if you've seen Gamers Nexus teardown of the reference card, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway guys, let's keep going. In terms of design, we have very strong belief Nvidia is using TSMC 7 nanometer EUV or N7 Plus for the top ampere base cards. And to compare this with Turing's 12 nanometer ship, Nvidia Ampere will be a lot more energy efficient. Anyway, according to this leak, the engineering GeForce card is apparently using two 8 pins, and in comparison, older Turing based engineering cards were using three 8 pins, which should be a strong indication that Ampere is consuming way less power compared to Turing. In terms of ports for the engineering card, we're looking at three display ports 2.0, a single HDMI 2.1, and finally, we got a single USB Type C port. Finally, the card is operating over PCIe 4.0 this time, which shouldn't come as a huge surprise to any of us. Unfortunately, Nvidia doesn't let their engineers look up things like core count and other interesting specifications, except for voltage and memory speed. But the thing is, we already have some very good leaks, and so with that said, let's dive into the specifications. So with Ampere, Nvidia is developing, uh, as it seems, three tier of high-end GPUs. With the GA102 leading the pack and succeeding the TU102. The GA104 is holding the upper performance segment and succeeding today's TU104. We also got a new silicon between the two, codenamed GA103, with no predecessor coming from current generation. Now that you know this, let's look at Nvidia's upcoming top performer, the RTX. 3080 Ti. So the full GA102 features 5376 Ampere CUDA cores and these cores are up to 10 to perhaps even 20% higher IPC than Turing and this is information coming from Moore's Law is Dead. But it is important to have in mind that this leak also goes hand in hand with older leaks from Ship Hell and Kitty Korgi. In terms of VRAM we're looking at 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 or GDDR6X but we gotta get back to this in just a second. Now again, the silicon is tapping into the 7 nanometer class silicon, and these are giving us better clock speeds. And we're looking at uh, above 
1.2 gigahertz even on the GA-102 and smaller ships in the series can boost beyond 2.5 gigahertz and when we're looking at performance for the upcoming RTX 3080 Ti we're looking at compute performance that exceeds 21 teraflops and in terms of memory speed we're looking at up to 18 gigabits per second ending up with 863 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth and that is 40% higher than the RTX 2080 Ti and we expect the memory bus will stay at 384 bits now as we dive into the performance for the upcoming RTX 3080 Ti the GA102 prototype or engineering sample is clocking 40% higher performance than the RTX 2080 Ti at 4K Ultra HD resolution in poorly optimized games and 50% higher performance in optimized games and up to 70% performance in the best case scenarios think games that are being optimized to use the Ampere architecture for example games such as Control is an example of a game that is running better on Nvidia's architecture but yeah guys seeing between 40 to 70 percent increase across the board is beyond my early expectations for these cards to give you guys more examples Minecraft RTX on the GA102 is four to five times faster than a Titan RTX so pretty <laughs> exciting let me know your thoughts in the comments below and we know from all the leaks that by increasing the number of stream multiprocessors Nvidia is doubling the CUDA core and the RT core ratio compared to Turing resulting in more RT cores per tier and this is resulting in increase of ray tracing performance pretty much everything we looked at so far goes hand in hand with all the leaks making this massive leak seem very very legit and I just wanted to say that and according to this leak each ampere RT core is able to process four times more intersections per unit clock speed than Turing the tensor core count is also reportedly going to see an increase the focus on ray tracing and AI performance increase could give game developers the freedom to cram more ray tracing effects per title because when we're getting this much more ray tracing performance we won't get near the same level of performance limitation when activating ray tracing with Ampere. Nvidia is also most likely to introduce the next installment of DLSS called DLSS 3.0 and this will further update the image quality and performance enhancement which is supposed to be a big deal for Nvidia. Nvidia could also resurrect the hybrid memory technology similar to AMD's HBCC called MV Cache, you know, a video memory between system memory and flash based storage and again this could be a huge buying argument from Nvidia. With that out of the way when can we expect Ampere to launch? Let's talk release dates. We're looking at two launch schedules. We got May 2020 and we got September. The event in May is being focused on HPC parts such as the Tesla A100 and the DGX A100 system. So in other words this event is focusing on data centers and the next event which is more exciting is supposed to be in September and this is where Nvidia will unveil the GeForce branded graphics cards and Nvidia will hold this event prior to the Cyber 2077 release with a possible release a few weeks after the reveal but due to some miscalculations Nvidia made they could be forced with delays on some particular cards for example because AMD bought so much capacity at TSMC this might cause upcoming RTX 2060 to delay all the way to Q1 in 2021 unfortunately. Now in terms of pricing based on the latest leaks we believe Nvidia will keep the pricing similar to Turing despite the rumors around Nvidia dropping the prices and this is unfortunately due to low stock and high demand. Recent rumors suggest Nvidia underestimated AMD's upcoming Navi 2X which is uh, also on 7 nanometer and Nvidia made the miscalculation not buying enough capacity at TSMC and what this means is that initially they won't have the same number of cards at launch compared to AMD who already have a massive order ready and this have led to Nvidia already securing their order for their next gen hopper architecture because they don't want to make the same mistake of being too late on the ball again. To sum this up similar pricing but a lot more performance very very exciting news. Anyway guys I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below in the meantime watch either of these two videos to learn more about Big Navi and Nvidia Ampere and I will see you guys in the next video.